Are you much softness through deflection? Uh, yeah, he, does, yeah. He, he initially sort of feels like it's not going to kind of happen, but then once you get your leg on, get him working a bit more forward, he does, he does soften. Yeah, he goes, you know, he's nice forward thinking, isn't he? Yeah. So then there, that's not, that's not much no. in my hand. And I think where he's obviously been um, ridden more previously in the double, he's used to quite a static feel. So yeah. although that's a lovely bit, there's, a, there's that extra movement being double broken. Yeah. So that might just be a little bit too much, too much. of a big step for him. up into trot so he's working and his mind's active and let's just see what any slight changes good or bad just let me know and actually that that turn is better as well. So he's starting to bring that right hind through more, which helps him stay, yeah, good boy. Yeah, that's quite nice. He, does he feel like he's working his back end a little bit more? Yeah. Yeah, good. And he loosens up a little bit as well. And I can see, I'll see him kind of moving the jaw, possibly a little, you know, a tad more than he should, but he's not chomping like he was. You then have to sometimes put movement back in, yes. depends what stage they're at. But, um, you know, it, it, it makes a bit of common sense, really. If you're getting a lot of squeeze on sensitive areas like um, lips and bars and tongue, they're going to actually want to try and relieve that pressure. So when they come back behind, they, they drop it off. You're not going to take any more yes. rain contact or you know, if they're head high, they kind of again release it because you spend most of your time, then that's where people's arms go very straight down here and it, it just blocks. So when they can't kind of get out of that scenario, so they just keep going higher yes. in hope that you, the rain will sack it off. Yeah, because if you look at how much that bends mm. and how much, what is the issue? That, mm. the bend on that, mm. that locks, I'm and that's what that we had you. in before, which is... Do you want to set that where you normally set yeah. it? training bit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, the, you know, that... The difference. Yeah. Yes, the difference. Mm. Very marked. It's a really nice one to encourage the horse to draw out. Some of them find if they've got a big tongue, sometimes that's on negative. But very often I find a lot of horses, in you know, to break a cycle where you've had um, a bit problem sometimes just by going completely polar opposite they actually respond quite well you might need to nitpick it or hone it in better mm. as you go along but definitely to make that mark change for the horse because they could be bruised or sore as well yeah. in yeah. some instances yeah, exactly. so i've just dropped that weymouth a tad mm -hmm. to give it a bit more space <laughs> 